One of the things that I actually was kind of curious on um, about that is what versions of the characters they were going to kind of pull because mm. DC has reinvented their characters a number of times. Harley Quinn is a perfect example of Now, she's someone. the clown girl, right? She's the clown girl. Very It was good, really nice Chad. to see that she was in that red and black outfit with the big points yeah. yes. throughout all the film. Yeah, right. And that the short shorts were only in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 too, was also shocked by that. Um, I really wasn't expecting that. I really thought it was going to be the short shorts the she entire movie. She handled the but... hammer constantly and so well. Yeah, it, yeah. W- it was really good. And she was a lot more covered up and a lot more like demure than you, know, you would have thought. That's right. So for me, go, going back to Ross's point, I actually did feel like there was character development because I didn't know what version of these characters they were going to be pulling from. Um, and they kind of did pull from various versions of these characters. Uh, so, for example, like a lot of the Harley Quinn origin is really um, taking off of the New 52 and what I believe is still in Rebirth or her origin story where she actually uh, falls into the vat of acid because, you know, because the Joker wants her to. Isn't it like playing card wax? Yeah, I thought it was playing card wax. No, that's actually supposed to be Wouldn't like a acid- vat of random acid. Really? Because yeah. really? in, in the first Batman like movie, it was playing <laughs> card wax for the hey, Joker. Hey, kids, no, take your was- first date to a... No, it was acid. It was, no, it was in the no. fr- Michael Keaton. It's Ace Chemicals. Yeah, it was oh, acid. It's, it's the same acid. One. No, because yes. because it, it's it's what drives Wasn't him crazy. Playing card wax. No, no. Well, no, not in the first the first Batman. Yeah, no, it was acid. Definitely acid chemical. It's acne, always been acid, acid chemical. In the story, wasn't it that it was no. playing card wax? No, because they all expected. It wasn't to be that the killing joke? Maybe so the killing in the joke killing the, joke, maybe. it it is next to a playing card. For whatever reason, in Gotham, you have your. Like toxic chemical plant right next to your playing card manufacturing Makes plant. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 Because that's what Alan Moore decided was necessary. So now yeah. the Joker is the clown man, right? The, again, good job, Chad. I now I you have know to a say lot for a Marvel fanboy. That from the from the Marvel side, the there was Do they a, have a Joker in Marvel? They do. Who is it? It is the Red Skull. Is it? it I think so. And Would it not be Loki? Eric. No, no, oh. it's not Loki. Loki Are would you, be a, a better guess, I would think. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think so. He's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't suggest that. Well, first. You're, you're, you, you know, everyone's entitled to the wrong opinion, so <laughs> it was, that's fine. But not, no, no, I, I still don't think it's Loki. Loki is he's something else because he's a god and he's really powerful. Joker is much more on the street, mm. right? Which is where I, I think more that, like the Green Goblin. Like, the Green Goblin was yeah, maybe he, Green he Goblin. ran he ran gangs and Kingpin, uh, maybe. and he was com- completely bonkers, like. Uh, same with uh, Norm, Norm, Norman Osborn took these chemicals to enhance his strength, but it tor- turned him mad. And hmm. uh, he's closer probably to the Joker of, of DC. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Not Loki, though. Loki, it's, no. it's, a, it's a giveaway because he's, you know... The he, trickster guy? He's yeah. a trickster guy, but he's not... Uh, no. They're just too different. Yeah. Hmm. Joker doesn't have power, right? He has his Correct. mind and all that. Well, he's but, got those teeth. I bet he could put a chunk of flesh okay, out of you so with those teeth. The mind Best is a weapon. Joker ever. Uh, Affleck in Batman versus Superman, which I will, or Batman v Superman, because S means hope, and they've removed hope from the film. I agree. They so removed most just things from that no film. No S in versus. Plot, yeah. sunshine, color, lots of things were removed from that yeah, movie. And then eventually Superman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which this film mentions, so I guess he's still missing. I guess. Uh well, always remember they were literally they were selling T-shirts to always remember Superman. Right. Always, it's like oh, the that's true. That's true. Oh, no, what they needed, insane. they needed like the uh, the Easter egg where they had this like tall guy with black hair and a mullet walk by, and you're like, hey, is that him <laughs> oh, reborn? God, that would have been the best. Oh, wow. And then 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 you he walks a little farther and his jacket yeah, opens and it's actually the Green Lantern. It's the redheaded guy from the Green Lantern. No, no. Are we gonna get Electric Blue Superman? Oh, maybe. Oh, and, and, that would and be red, exciting. red and blue Superman. That would be so good. Oh. But at one point, there's this great, in the telling of the origin, where they reenact Alex Ross's drawing yeah. or painting yes. of the Joker. The two of them and, sort of dancing. Yeah. So it was perfect. Yeah. Like, this Joker yeah, was great because he was, he was everything Cesar Romero brought to the character <laughs> with, which he's still minus the, the I, mu- Minus the mustache. I the didn't painted see over that. mustache. Yeah. I didn't see that. <laughs> I saw a character that had quirks for no apparent reason and was trying to be scary but ultimately it, the lack of eyebrows just was too distracting well, it's, it's I, like, I like this i want to see you brenner in, in you know painted white I so don't really i liked this joker interpretation um i i will all i for me personally heath ledger was the best joker but heath ledger was a joker for one movie and i don't think the heath ledger joker could ever have been in a second movie like that character got fully played out and fully used and well deserving in my mind of right. the academy award that he got yep um, this Joker is not designed to be a one movie wonder. 
he's designed to be part of an expanded universe that will almost always be there as an antagonist for Batman. And I think that that is right. a lot of the changes that they made. It's a little him. bit more low key. Yes. And like a little bit easier Back to sustain. Key, eh? He's not yeah. wanting to burn <laughs> down the entire world like the Heath Ledger Joker was. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> 